Yeah, not much conversation. Well, should probably talk about something. Talk about the game a little. Anyway, Sonic Unleashed is pretty much... It was part of the new Sonic saga. Like, it came out with... There were three Sonic games that came out, you know, the same around time. Each having Sonic do something new. There was Sonic Chronicles, which is actually an RPG game. And really fun, I will say. Really fun. And... Sonic Unleashed, introducing the Werehog controls, yeah. This is the only game that actually has Werehog controls, yeah. And then, there, um, this actually came out earlier 2010. I think it was er way early 2010. No, it was 2009. Yeah, 9. Yeah, early 2009, but it was still a part of it. Sonic and the Black Knight. Is a it was a continuation of uh, Sonic and the Secret Ring. It's like it was part of a storybook saga. Like the first one was uh, the Arabian Nights, and Black Knight was uh, not the Arabian Nights. It was King Arthur. Yeah, the story of King Arthur. Yeah, which many people didn't find that fun because you didn't really have full control of Sonic. It was more like the controls again that they had the Sonic Unleashed. Or, Sonic and the Secret Rings, where he had very little control of Sonic. Like, very little. Like, everything was automatic. Hey, wow. That because Sonic had a sword. Yeah. So, it was part of that. But they are doing that again this year, but it's going to be... Um, bringing Sonic back, actually. Which, they already released two of the games, and the next one's coming out next week. Uh, Sonic Colors. Anyway, the game, three games that were coming out this year were Sonic Forge coming out early October, and you saw a playthrough of it by me. Yeah. Hopefully I'll remember that. And Sonic Free Riders, which I will be doing a guide. I did get the game. The game's really fun. Might as well do a guide of the game. <laughs> and the game is really fun. I do like it. Especially, I have to, I have to say, it's one of my favorite Kinect games right now. Yeah, I'm gonna show off the Unleash here, and that's useless to use. Yeah. Push the C button, use it. It makes your... It makes your attack stronger. Anyways, you can see, everything has to add up to something. Which, as you can see, I made it all add up, which gives me an S. Which, instead of all time, now depends on... One metal depends on time, one depends on a certain number of rings, and the last one depends on how many enemies you've killed. And do we get a level up finally? Oh, we got a level up! We got the wear claw! Yeah, wear claw. Woo. And as you can see, it's, we can actually start to see it fill up now. 120 points till the next level up, yeah. Secret movie 2. Secret Restoration 25. New mi mission. Yeah. Getting crazy. Do you think you've gone mad? Have you gone mad, man? I must say, you have. Very well. <laughs> Oh yeah, there will be. There are multiple night stages now. Yeah, I wanted to go adventuring. Can't remember where everything was. There's no knob on this door. Let's look around and see if there's some kind of switch. Okay. Yeah. And look, there was a button conveniently behind that. Uh, I love plants. Kill, kill, kill. Yeah, the one problem about the Werehog, there are many multiple Werehog stages. As the daytime stages, you pretty much just get one stage and a couple of missions. Which the daytime stages are more fun, so that kind of ruins it a little. I mean, it's, I have to say it is quite fair. I mean, like, Werehog does need a part in it. Oh, these bee enemies. They are the most annoying enemies you will ever see in the entire game. Like, even the um, incredibly strong enemies can, are no match to these stupid bees. You can't pick them up. They're annoying to hit. The only way to kill them is if you have these little box things around you. Which, conveniently, I did use them. So, and there was a feature right there. 
Sonic, I think if you dashed here, you'd be able to jump this distance. No, duh. It's not like I did this in the tutorial or anything. Yeah. As you can see, um, when I was collecting rings, it was recovering my health. Oh, ah, dang. Too many enemies. Breaking all those boxes that could help me right now. <laughs> I'm like, well, what am I supposed to- ah, well, what the heck, just break it. Boom! There is a secret item on the building. I'm not sure if I get it or not, but it's incredibly hard to get. It's like at the very top of a building. You have to have, like, perfect jumping skills to make it. Like, right up there. Like, the camera just now turned on the building. Yeah, up here. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Apparently, I just made it look easy. But, yeah, there's a secret item right there. More experience right there. Boom. Yeah, I just want to go ahead and break that. Like, eh, it's already there. It's a long, I should just break it. No. Oh, just one ring. I'm worried about one tiny. Aw. Oh. Crap. Didn't think that would happen. I was showing y'all being all pro skill, and then that happened. What do you think that is, Sonic? Try grabbing it. I don't wanna. They're making me do stuff I don't wanna do. Oh, whoa. Forgot about that. The Xbox version completely took that differently than what they did there. I mean, like, completely different. No, it does. It's not like I'm doing that right now. Huh. Chip's kind of annoying, I must say. I mean, he was helpful the first time we played, but when you play through the game again, it's like, yeah, just get out of my face. I know what I need to do. Yeah, as you guys can tell, it also tells you what Wii motion you have to do to do whatever. Yeah, it's like, it does that through the whole game, like, they just play dumb with you through the whole game, like, oh, you have to do this, you have to do this, oh, let's just, oh, you may know how to do this already, but we're just gonna show it to you anyway, unless you completely forgot how to do it. Probably for, like, people, like, really dumb, like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do? And it's like, right there, like, oh, I just have to shake the Wii remote in this position. Boom, slap shot. Ooh, these things. These things can be kind of annoying if you don't know how to fight them. But they're also very easy to kill just by picking them up repeatedly and throwing them at something. Like, you don't even have to throw them at an enemy. You can just simply throw them at a wall and it will still, it will still take damage. As you see, I'm getting ahead of myself, dashing. Then I tried running back thinking, did I kill that enemy or not? Because it's not disappearing. Opening this door, finding more experience! Yeah, we need experience, because we want to level up. Surprisingly, I am going to say this. This will ruin it till the end. Um, I think I, w I do actually get every level up at, like, at the end of the last stage of the Werehog stages. Like, the very last stage of the game, I get the final level up. Which is not very useful after that. <laughs> Except for the final boss. I see a level. Let's see what it does. Eh, I don't wanna. I'm too lazy. <laughs> yeah, I really don't wanna do it, so I'm gonna dash past it. Yeah, hold B and then swing it like you're doing a lever. And then go down the elevator. Which will take us to another part where I did another tutorial. Yeah, you remember this fancy place? I was throwing boxes at enemy off screen? Yeah. You like that, don't you? Surprisingly, it's, I've, it's already recorded about an hour of this game, and we're still in the first level of the game. I have to say, I'm amazed. I'm like, I'm just like, wow, the first stage is really this long. And I thought the levels in the Xbox version were long. <laughs> But they weren't long, but it w there was one level incredibly long. 
like incredibly long, like took an hour to complete long. Like, it was very creative what they did in the level, and you will see the level in the X when I did the playthrough for the Xbox version. It was like very creative, but way too long for its own good. I just die already, stupid B. I mean, you're already trying to be slapped in the face. You just take it like a man. Or a bee. Come on. Die already. I have to say, I think I was quite aggravated right there. Like, the bee would not die. I'm like, oh my gosh, die already, dang it. We. That's what the Wii version is about, going we. <sighs> Opening up uh, a door. Yeah. <laughs> but, ooh, I'm gonna slap whatever's behind there. Oh, dang, I missed it. And it was an item, too. I missed a non moving target. How bad is that? <laughs> I think what happened was, um, I had to lift the Wii remote. I think I launched it down too fast, and it counted me as doing my, uh, Nice and slow. Don't want to slip and fall. I don't think I'd do it nice and slow here. I think I like try to be daredevil. No. I think I like try to be daredevil. I like to try to jump everything. And again, I use the unleash at the very end of the stage. What am I thinking? I mean, really, that'd be more helpful. And I will say, I did not get the time. I'm 18 seconds off. And we got an A. And two medals. As you can see, the, it skipped one, which is actually the time medal. Yeah. Time medal. And... Combo level up. Yeah. Combo level up. How awesome is that? Da, 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 da. Why don't I just hold the A button? I mean, really. It even says at the bottom, A. Push A to skip. Secret Movie 3. Secret Illustration 66. 